welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own plasterboard for wedging or recycling clay. I've made these two here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it in details in a video. And if you're in a hurry, down below you can find the written instructions as well as your shopping list for all the ingredients that you're going to need to make one of these bad boys. Alright, let's get to it. So I've got all my stuff already measured out here, and I'm going to use this cake pan as a mold. I'll put a link to that in the description below. I've got gloves, glasses, a mask for working with powder. I've got 14 cups of water that's cold, pre-measured out. I've got 10 pounds of pottery plaster number one. I'm going to mix it in here. I've got a rib to smooth it out and some rubbing alcohol to pop the bubbles on the top. And it's pretty messy, so we're going to use gloves. I've got everything covered in plastic. We're going to mix it nice and slow and try to make as minimal of a mess as possible. So let's get going. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is put my gloves on. Once we have those on, we are going to take this water and put the water into the bucket first. Now that the water is in the bucket, I'm going to open up this bag of plaster here. And we're going to slowly add the plaster to the bucket. using a bag, I'm definitely checking around all the edges in the bag down here to make sure that I have gotten all the powder dissolved into the mix. So I'm going to double check my mold, make sure no major stuff is flowing in there while I've been doing this. Good. So I'm going to pour slowly and I'm just going to pour a quick layer. Okay, so fun fact, it is so hot outside today that my camera literally overheated and stopped filming like mid-clip. But all I did is when I rest of that clip was pour the rest of it into this mold and then smooth it out on the top with the rim. And it's been 15 minutes since I've um, set it and I'm just checking on it. So it's starting to set. It's still pretty liquid. I'm gonna tap it around the sides to get any bubbles out of it. Give it another spray with rubbing alcohol. Get the bubbles on the top. All right, and we're gonna check it again in 15 more minutes. And it's very, very hot today, so I'm thinking that it's going to set a lot faster than it might if you're in a colder area or you're doing this on a colder day. It is like 95 degrees right now, and this is sitting in the sun, so it's probably gonna set pretty quick. Okay, so it's been 15 more minutes. It's pretty much set. There's a little bit of water just on the very top of it, but the rest of it is basically a solid. I'm thinking here, I'm just flushing this off, flushing that excess water off. I think when we check it again, in 15 minutes it'll be ready to come out of here. Um, let me see if I can get it zoomed in for you. Okay, so you can see, if I put my hand on it and give it some pressure now, it's hard but wet and it's leaving just mostly just water on my hands so when we come out in 15 more minutes we should probably be able to take it out of the mold but I'm gonna wait until the entire top is at least dry and then I'll feel safe to take it out of the mold and then we're gonna make one more just for good measure 15 minutes later it's been a total of 45 minutes since we poured it and it is ready to go I'm gonna dump it over onto this thing so I have a little bit of leverage to lift it with so it can continue to dry and then I'm going to make a whole new one because I need two. I need one to wedge on and I need one to recycle my clay on. Maybe I'll make more later but for right now I got enough plaster to make two. So let's try and do this carefully. Hopefully we can get it out of there. Oh that was super 
crazy. Look at that. Oh yeah. Very nice. Super smooth. Awesome. And nice rounded corners too, so you don't hurt yourself on it. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna get all of this reset up, and then we'll make one more, and hopefully the camera doesn't overheat. Thanks for tuning in this week guys. I hope you found this video helpful and that you're now able to make your very own wedging board or clay recycling board out of pottery plaster. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more art videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. I'll be back here every Friday at 5.30 with a new video. And if you want to hang out, talk shop, and share artwork, go ahead and the link below and join the Discord channel. A full description of the instructions as well as all the ingredients that you need to make this board can also be found below. And I'll see you next week.